Okay guys, welcome to the RPG Maker XP Basics Tutorial. Uh, basically today, or in this little session here, uh, we're gonna basically cover the basics of RPG Maker XP. I'm not gonna spend too much time on anything really because most of it's self-explanatory. And I mean, if you have any trouble, you can look at a README or other tutorials. Or yeah, anyways. Okay, so uh, basically, to make a new project, there's no project open. You go to the little piece of paper here, new project, or you can just click it. Uh, folder name, game title, location, blah, blah blah. Name it whatever you want. We'll name this game test. Okay. All right. Now we have a nice little 20 by 20 grassy field here, and uh, first, what we're gonna do is cover the layers. Or actually, I guess we should go to the map. Okay, uh, this down here, you can right click it, new map, it'll ask you some stuff, new map, you know, you can just make maps, name them, whatever. Uh, you can also edit them from that screen, but I'm just going to show you how to do it here. Uh, if you want to edit a map, you right click it, map properties, name it, tile set. Uh, a tile set is what you use to make your map. Like if you wanted to make a desert, we you change the width, height, you can start it with music, any music that you have uploaded, any background sounds, BDS that you have uploaded. You can give it a step average, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, so say we're going to make a desert. So we're going to pick the desert tile set, of course. Okay. Oh, look at that nice little deserty desert. All right. And so that'll bring us to our next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, layers. And so you can see there's four of them: one, two, three, and four. Uh, the very first one, layer one, is for ground. Anything that your character is going to walk on, you know, it's just ground. Just simple as that. And uh, instead of, you, know, you click a ground tile, whatever one you want to fill with, and you can draw it all in, or my preferred method, you just go to the fill bucket, and you've completely made a desert. Congratulations. All right, and uh, the second layer is for anything on top of the ground. So say we want to make a cat. Whoa, not that many cactuses. We want to make a cactus. So we made a cactus. Congratulations. Let's make another one just for good measure. Alright, and uh, so that's basically all that is. And uh, the third layer is for anything on top, on top of something. You know, like, instead of just having our map, a bunch of cactuses dotted around like this, say you want some, or here's a better example. We'll undo all that. Control Z to undo stuff, and uh, so we have a palm tree. And so instead of just having a bunch of separate palm trees, see we can't put them on top of stuff because it makes them disappear. So we're going to undo that, and we're going to go to the third layer and make more trees. So you see, it's a nice overshadow, and it gives your map detail and texture and stuff like that. So that's all. That's the first three layers. That's terrain and stuff like that. Alright, the fourth layer is the event layer, and this is basically the heart and soul of your entire game that you're making. Alright, we're going to right click, right click, new event, and now we have a nice little window open here. You can name your event, but that's basically for reference, like if we're, gonna, if we're ever going to refer back to this event, so let's name it reference. Whoa, reference, reference. Alright. We will cover switches, variables, self switches, basically all the conditions. We'll cover that later. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this whole area and then the event commands. Let's see how are we doing on time here? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. First, the graphic. If your event, which can be an NPC, a treasure chest, anything, the graphic, it'll have a graphic. Alright, so let's say we're going to make a fighter 2 and you can pick which way the graphic will be facing you know let's just do that apply and ok and we're gonna right click player starting position to restart the entire game and up here is play test so save changes yes and this is gonna open up eventually ok and now see this is our little event that we made right here it doesn't do anything because we haven't set it to do anything well we can't have that right I mean come on now got to do something that's just a boring little event so uh, we're gonna close this and we're gonna right click the event we made the little guy and uh, I'm gonna make him say something double click 
or here. You can double click this area, or you can right click, insert, and uh, you see a bunch of commands. I mean, this is your literal, literally heart and soul of your game. Alright, so let's make him say something. So you're going to go to show text, click it, let's make him say, hey there. Okay. And um, down here you can see this is the trigger, and that means the trigger to make this event start. Okay, and the action button, which in this case is enter. So this means when the hero, or your person, or whoever you're controlling, walks up to this event and presses the action button, the text, hey there, will come up. Simple, right? Okay, time, what are we doing on time here? Alright, we're about halfway done with this. Anyways, uh, these options down here, you're not really going to need these. Uh, we'll cover those later if we need them, or I'll answer you on YouTube or whatever. Anyways, these triggers. Action button, uh, player touch, that's when if you bump into, if you if your hero bumps into this event at all, then it will activate and say, hey there, well we don't want that, we want to talk to them and they'll talk to us. Event touch is just if you have an event moving around and it touches it, it works, that's just, I don't know. Auto run, that basically freezes up your game and nothing else can happen at the same, it's, it's weird, I don't ever use that. The one I use the most is parallel process, which means, uh, it means, it's good for like, when you have a bunch of events going on at once, you don't just want one going on, it's good for like cutscenes and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, so we're going to pick the action button. Hey there. Alright, so let's play test this. Save changes. Okay. New game. Let's go up to him and enter. Hey there. Oh, look at that. He talks. He lives. We've created life. Give yourself a pat on the back and possibly a cookie if you're into that kind of thing. Alright, uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to cover the entire first page of events, and I'll tell you what they do, how you use them, etc., etc. Okay, and that's it for this one. Uh, just the basics of RPG Maker. Uh, hope you enjoyed it or learned something. Uh, 